Welcome everyone. This is the fourth part in the Gromax tutorial series. That is, we are going to define a unit cell and fill the unit cell with the solvent molecules. Okay. This is the folder we are working on. In this folder, you can find two files. That is the complex.gro. This is the protein ligand complex file. And topol.top. This is the topology file. In the previous video, we have seen how to combine the ligand grow file and the protein processed grow file into a complex.gro file. And we have also seen how to create a protein ligand topology file from the ligand topology and the protein topology to generate this topol.top file. So today in this video, we are going to see how to define the unit cell and fill the unit cell with the solvent. So first to open in terminal. give this command give this command that is gmx edit conf dash f that is the input file this is the protein ligand complex file that is complex dot gro file dash o output file complex box dot gro that is uh, that is this file will contain the box vectors and the box angles and dash bt that is box type you can specify a dodecahedron dash d 1.0 that is the distance from the box edge to the system that is we have specified as a one Armstrong okay you can specify other than dodecahedron also that is you can specify triclinic and cubic etc and press enter now a new file is created in this working directory that is called complexbox.gro so this is the output file of the command now you can see the output of this command volume of the box is 300.7 nanometer cube and the new box volume is 342 nanometer cube and the command is successfully completed now if we want you can visualize the complexbox.gro just to open it with the PyMol or any other software VMD also fine so this is the protein ligand complex file with the box vectors and the box angles now you can close this now to solve it the box just give this command gmx solve it dash cp that is the input file or the protein configuration file complex box dot gro this file is the output of the previous command dash cs that is the solute configuration this is the water configuration spc216 dot gro this is present in the gromax itself so we no need to have this file in this folder and dash p to update the topology file topol dot top file and dash o that is the output file complex solve.gro so this file will be the output of the command and give enter now you can see a new file is created complex solve.gro so the result of this command is uh, you can see the volume of the box is 342 nanometer cube and the density and the number of solvent molecules the number of solvent molecules is 10293 but but this uh, but while generating the solvent configuration you can see 12438 solvent residues are created and 3990 solvent atoms are removed due to solvent solvent overlap and 2439 solvent atoms are removed due to solute solvent overlap so finally we get 10295 solvent residues this is also updated in the topology file also since we have specified the topology file this change will reflect in the topology file also we just uh, visualize the complex solvator.grow file just to open it with the uh, visualization software you can see this is the protein ligand complex file
this is the structure of the ligand but uh, but this does not look like a dodecahedron shape this looks like a triclinic shape but the desired unit shell shape can be recovered later close this and just uh, we can visualize the topology pair also just uh, scroll to the bottom here you can see the residues solvent 10,295 solvent residues are added. So that's all in the topology file. Now we have successfully generated the box and we have filled it with the solvent molecules. So that's all. In the next video, we are going to see about how to add the ions in the system. So thank you for watching. If you like this video, give a like and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching.